Welcome to this edition of Three Outs. I am Chase Porm. You can find more coverage at rebelgrove.com. But the three things for tonight, we're going to start with Will Etheridge. He missed last week's start at Tulane because of a blister on his throwing hand. Tonight, he rebounds. He doesn't feel the blister at all. He came out because of a pitch count, not because anything was an issue. He throws three innings, shut out, no runs, couple of hits, strikes some guys out, fastballs into the 90s, and he does it on only 32 pitches. So he's really, really accurate. The command's back there. And he looked just like he hadn't missed a start whatsoever. I talked to him after the game. He said the hand feels good. I talked to Mike Bianco, and he said that next week could be a normal start. They probably aren't pitch counting him much moving forward. They're home next weekend against UAB. So everything you wanted to see out of Will Etheridge, you saw that tonight. He looked like an SEC ace, even against a Long Beach team that really can't hit a lick so far this season. They're 0-8 on the year. They came in with only four RBIs in their entire batting average. They'd only scored 10 runs in seven games coming into tonight. But Etheridge took care of him like he was supposed to. He was excellent. And then he handed the ball, or he didn't hand the ball, but Mike eventually goes to Austin Miller. Austin Miller, a guy that has uh, solidified a role in middle relief. He's thrown 10.1 innings this season, only allowed, allowed one run, no runs tonight in four innings. He has command. He drops the breaking ball in, the fastballs for strikes. And a guy that only threw 15.2 innings last season, he's going to be well past that by mid-March. He's already thrown 10.1. Mike trust him. He, he was really the player of the game because since they didn't get what they hoped to out of Roth, Miller saved the rest of the bullpen, put him in pretty good position for a doubleheader tomorrow. So Austin Miller was excellent. And then we mentioned Long Beach State struggles offensively. I thought the other key of the game was just Cooper Johnson. We keep talking about him, but Long Beach already plays small ball for the most part. And then tonight when they've been struggling, they're doing a lot of different things. He um, he was another guy that kind of stemmed it all, bunt open the game, just did everything you want to to kind of manage that and handle it from a running and a stealing standpoint for uh, – for Ole Miss against Long Beach State. So those are the three things. Tomorrow, doubleheader, 135-30 between the, uh, the Dirtbags and the Rebels. And to get more coverage at rebelgrove.com.